Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. This feels like something old that someone is tapping into. It, it doesn't feel, it feels... Can I say this? There are current emotions coming to the surface about something from the past. This could be in someone's subconscious mind. Somebody may not realize right now that they are kind of retreating from people being um, pessimistic, negative, moody, standoffish, or whatever. Because there, somebody here is dealing with some something that they feel is heartbreaking. Somebody also could be going through something that's heartbreaking and they're trying to hide it. And I, I just said this. It, it's sort of like the five stages of grief. Th th somebody here could be looking at their family or something that they've invested a lot of time in. Their finances. Somebody is looking, they're assessing and evaluating something that they, they've invested a lot in. And, and maybe they're realizing that it was only a karmic lesson. There's a big lesson here to be learned in a situation, but there is a breakup. It's a separation. And someone is walking away feeling very much defeated. The Five of Swords is here. I do feel like somebody really tried to make the best of a situation and get exactly what they wanted and they did it. I'm also feeling too where if if this if you're in this situation, you may be the person right now that's feeling defeated. I'm getting a, a feeling of being trapped or defeated or like you just need to surrender a person or a situation. There's some type of mental entrapment here or confusion or an illusion about something here. But the three of swords goes to the three of cups, the, the sun and the fool. So it's like once you get out of your head about something here, there's going to be this major breakthrough. Now, for some of you, this is just the closing of a cycle. If this is related, especially to like a friend or a lover, you're manifesting peace, balance and harmony here. There is divine intervention there is a need to transmute some energy. There's some negative energy here that if you handle this situation the right way, it can come out as something very beautiful. But there, there is for sure a need for emotional intelligence. Somebody needs to be very careful not to make them do something here that they're going to later regret. I'm getting this type of energy here is where you need to be very careful not to end up making a decision that could lead to something that you will be unhappy with permanently based on your your current anger. Like you're, somebody is mad, sad, or upset about something right now. And if they're not careful, I'm getting it's like you're going to push somebody to the brink of no return. Either you're doing this to someone or someone is doing this to you. That's why the first thing I heard was, it's like you piss or get off the pot. You know, it's like, what are you gonna do? Somebody feels, um, I, there's this feeling of being like almost smothered, suffocated. There's a lot of stress or anxiety here. <clears throat> the Six of Swords. Somebody is, is dealing with some type of anxiety about moving, relocating, traveling, starting over, having a passion, a new beginning because they have to walk away from something. Yep. Somebody here in order to change their fate, in order to have something that is truly destined for them, they have to reject something. Or somebody is just feeling like time is running out or something is going to be a missed opportunity. So th th there's an energy here of something must be sacrificed in order to gain something. And there is no way around it. I feel like a person here is constantly trying to hold on to a person, place, thing, a situation. It could be a job, a friendship, um, a relationship. And it's like, it, that's going to hold you back. 
in order for you to have better, you're going to have to give up something. And if it's not something, I just heard in order to, to have better, you're going to have to give up the bitterness. For some somebody here, this could just be an emotional blockage here. The way that someone is um, presenting themselves or the way that someone is perceiving things that are, are being presented to them, it's... Um, it's off. It's off-putting. That's what I'm hearing. This is definitely their energy of like self-sabotage. And this has been coming out the last few days. Honestly, this this is a lot of like spiritual attacks as well, where people are trying very hard to get people to stay back in cycles by triggering wounds in people. But this is a good thing. This this triggering is needed to, to uproot something here that has been blocking someone. Again, this could be you or someone that you're dealing with. It could be both of you. But somebody here for sure, it, there, somebody is very passionate and determined to move on to, to, to peaceful, calm waters. But spirit is like, uh-uh-uh, but first, there's something here you have to walk away from. Or there's something that somebody needs to go back and fix in order for everything to actually be balanced out and for the wheel of fortune to shift and change. This is something like some type of unfinished business and somebody is feeling very discontent, bored, um, like they've already missed some type of opportunity or they're very afraid that they're going to miss an opportunity. Eight of Wands. So something here is going to move forward. This could have to do with an offer. It's like, to be honest, somebody here wants to make an offer to a person, but they first have to apologize about something that they've done or they've said that created... Um, Somebody has invited like a, a, a low vibrational karmic energy into a friendship or a relationship of some sort here. And it has to do with their communication. And this is the reason why now there's a masculine here perhaps who is being blocked. This person is being blocked from actually receiving the healing or the nurturing that they need from a feminine who can kind of tame the beast within them and actually heal them. It's blocked until this person decides to put an end to something that they keep trying to do. Somebody here keeps on, somebody won't make a decision. That's just, that's the problem here. It's really, it's, it's actually a very clear message. Now, the situation for everyone might be different. Somebody here is refusing to make an apology. They're refusing to make an offer. They're refusing to make a decision. And now a person is, look, they're stressed out and they're confused about a spiritual union here. And they're afraid that it's going to be over. Because somebody right now, they're at a crossroads. You're going to have to leave something behind. Someone has to leave behind a situation that they thought was going to be long term or something that was once a happily ever after. Someone has to leave behind a family, family dynamic or situation, okay? Because it's causing conflict for this person. They're not able to have security or stability or to be able to offer something to somebody here is of a higher. <clears throat> It's like something here was once a match and it's no longer a vibrational match because somebody has, this is that string along energy. <clears throat> a lot of issues with, with, with the throat chakra, a lot about communication. Somebody either doesn't know how to talk to a person or somebody doesn't know how to listen. This this does seem like a relationship, possibly an actual romantic relationship for some of you. It could be an old relationship or it could be one that's fairly new. Take it however it resonates. Somebody here has an opportunity to move forward and have wish fulfillment. But it would require them to 
apologize for something that they've done. There's a masculine here who is being blocked from their destiny. They have a soul contract with a particular feminine here who perhaps is a healer, a star, a very forward thinking. Yeah, here's the Queen of Cups. It's a past life connection here. Two people here have worked together in a past life. It's a soul contract. 100%. They have a past life together where they work together. And the way that the story ends is this feminine has the power to heal this masculine, but this masculine is being blocked. Why? Because they won't actually apologize for making this connection karmic. It's really not necessarily a karmic connection that I'm picking up here. It's more so someone here has decided to do something that has now the third party somebody has invited something into a divine connection that shouldn't be there which is the reason why this third this three of swords is here it's a mindset now of course for some people it could be someone has lied they've cheated for some it's just someone hasn't dealt with their own inner child wounding they haven't done shadow work and healing and something even maybe from their childhood is is coming up it's affecting how a person how they communicate someone here has to give up some type of conditioning about communication when it comes to relationships and partnerships in order to have a divine connection and they're really struggling to do it What somebody has done is they, somebody here could have went and, and talked to somebody else and got some really bad advice from someone that has some type of outdated way of thinking. This could even be somebody here who went and talked to, you know, a parent or someone about how to handle a situation and they've gotten some information that wasn't necessarily bad, but it wasn't, um, It wasn't beneficial or conducive to this particular connection. And so somebody now is being challenged. And that's the reason why the hermit is here. There's a need to go in, go within and heal and figure out why are we having these issues? Somebody is, is has changed something in this connection. And they, they're wanting to take an offer to somebody who already... To be in the Nine of Pentacles, I feel oftentimes a lot of people who are in the nine of pentacles and able to maintain it they they have really a, a good connection with source because when you're in a low vibrational karmic energy it's usually hard to manifest abundance and especially hard to maintain it okay so somebody here is is very slow and wanting to take an offer to a very stable secure and, and abundant person here and they're down on their last leg. Okay. They're, they're down on, on their last leg with this situation. Why? Because they invited something in here. So somebody here, like I said, they could have lied. They could have cheated. Okay. But they didn't handle some type of situation. That, th there's an energy here that just cannot actually come into something here that is divine. There, there's there's an unclean spirit or energy that's here and it shouldn't be here somebody definitely could have stepped out and cheated or like i said somebody they got some bad advice or or, or they they weren't honest about something from the very beginning it's something like that and it's now it's haunting this person and it's causing a really bad situation within a connection it's like a lie is coming back to really bite somebody in the butt or somebody is withholding information and it's causing something to really just rise, like fester up and rise up in the background. But it, it's, it's now bleeding over into this connection, making it, um, it, it's really putting a situation here. Uh, somebody here is thinking about walking away from this connection for good. And it's a very, very strong divine connection. 
a lot of you, your first mind will be that this is an older, it, it's an older connection. I'm getting more of like some of you, it's a past life connection, but for it could definitely be with someone, it's fairly new. Someone, it's like you and this person, either you and someone have not been able to get on the same page, someone from your past, or you could have someone in your life now and it has been very difficult for you and this person to take things to the next level because this devil energy is here. This devil could be some type of like Jezebel spirit or energy. It's something low vibrational. I'm also sensing a situation here where for somebody here, a person, they did come towards you. There was a passion in the beginning. They may have actually walked away from something. And then you and or this person have now, you're, you're in, you're having like a face off with the devil. Hmm. It's some type of chaos or conflict possible, like I said, in a family. Okay. Somebody here could be arguing with a person about money. Some type of gossip or situation in a family dynamic. But I'm telling you, there's a masculine here who's abundance, their finance. A, a lot in their life is dependent on them being in a connection with a, a particular feminine. And they kind of forfeit all of their blessings by choosing to invite low vibrational energy into a connection that will then stop them. From being in a connection. Somebody here may have already ruined a connection. And, and they're they're devastated about it. Somebody here may. They chose the world. Instead of. You know. Their person. They chose to be more. You know worldly. And this conflict and chaos. Could have could have already or it's going to bring the end to what could be someone's ultimate wish fulfillment yeah the seven of wands here somebody is being kicked out of your energy so that you can move on a peaceful calmer waters it's like until this person yeah if somebody here is moving on this it feels like a missed opportunity for somebody here Nine of Swords. Yep. Somebody here. It's, it's two people. Both are stressed out. The Hierophant and the Temperance. Until it's something here. It's like the Hierophant and the Temperance. That's, that's like a two very, very spiritual people. Um... They're both juggling and in their head right now. It's a past life connection. They're at a crossroads. They don't know which way to go. They, they're they separated. They're ne so for some, there is a separation here. It looks like this can come back together if two people choose to do the work. Either, either you're already in separation or you're about to separate from somebody because there, there's a need for something here to be healed. And it seems like, I'm telling you, like something here was going, it's like, wow, this was going good. It was a passion, a new beginning. You and somebody, you got on a journey and now, boom, you ran into this devil. Whatever this is, this could be an ex. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. Mindset, something is blocking an offer. And two people are needing to discuss that this devil energy is here. And if you can discuss this and apologize or whatever, then you can move forward. It looks like it's more so on the masculine side, though. There's a masculine here that they, they're trying to make an offer to this divine feminine who is already in this stable, abundant type of energy. And, and they're feeling like this is a missed opportunity, like time is running out. This is about to end. This person, this is pride and ego. Somebody won't just say, listen, I was wrong. They won't apologize or they won't come forward and tell the truth. Yeah, the three of cups, though. 
there is something here that happened, I feel, in the background, the Five of Wands. Th this really could be like a divine couple here that is under spiritual attack by a group. It's two people here who are truly supposed to be together. Unfortunately, there's a group in the background, though, that's, that's bringing in this third-party energy, causing somebody to juggle. But see, somebody here could have been attached to a group or a friend or an ex-lover. Someone here is connected to someone in their life that is connected to some type of group that is sending a lot of really bad energy towards this connection. Someone is trying to confuse someone or have them stuck and bound about this, this past connection here. It could be someone from the past that's doing this. Some of you, it's like you have, um, you're dealing with more than one past life soulmate. One is meant to be in your life, one is not. And you're trying to figure out which way to go. It's like somebody needs to take some time out to heal, to rest, recuperate, rejuvenate, to figure out which way are you going. Because there's a choice that has to be made here about a connection. <clears throat> yeah. And it is leading to the Ten of Cups. Somebody here is really thinking hard, okay, about the Four of Wands here. Ten of Swords. There's a feminine out here that's just like burnt, really burnt out, almost ready to give up on this situation. The masculine doesn't want to let go. This masculine is really trying to take an offer to somebody. But the, it's like this person doesn't truly feel worthy. They don't really feel worthy. They did something. Either they did something or they, they were supposed to do something that they didn't do. And it's really not coming out in this reading what happened, like what really happened in the background. But somebody is holding back a secret, I feel, that would be very, it would be devastating. Wow. It's like it's a masculine out here. Honestly, it gives me the vibes like there's been a betrayal here. Unfortunately, um, and, and keep in mind when you, you know, listening to this reading, be very discerning. Every, every, uh, deceptive thing or betrayal, you guys, it doesn't always involve another person. Something is really making me. Yeah, there is a lie though. There is a lie. There is a secret, a, a, a scam of some sort here. Um, and somebody is wanting to move away from this now and repair this situation. But there's a tower here that has happened. You know what I'm getting here? It almost feels like what I'm seeing. It feels like a masculine here is connected to someone, whether it's a friend, a family member, or um, a lover, ex-lover, that has done something to a feminine and they are aware of it. And they're trying to really save face right now. Um, it's like this person is trying to protect this divine feminine because they know that, that they're meant to be with this divine feminine but they're very afraid to tell Divine Feminine that they know that the Divine Feminine has possibly gone through something that was stressful, um, that caused some kind of fear or anxiety because of something that either they did or that they did not do that would have actually either prevented this from happening or it would have helped Divine Feminine. There's a big lie or betrayal here that somebody is refusing to speak up and out about. It's like the truth will set this person free, but they just won't tell the truth. Whatever it is, this person is just like, they're, they're terrified that the divine feminine will not deal with them. I don't feel like whatever this situation is, is um, 
like their fault. But could they have said something or done something, whether it was before or after the situation happened? Yes. This is sort of like somebody here, what I'm getting is possibly, yeah, wow, five of cups or seven of swords. This is something hurtful. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Somebody here made a choice to do something in the spirit to hurt a person and have them left out in the cold. And it didn't hurt you, but now somebody is guilty about the fact that it could have hurt you. Y'all, it's a gnat in here. It's about to drive me insane. This also could be too where it's like a masculine could have a friend, a family member, or a lover who has possibly done something against you out of jealousy, envy, or whatever. And maybe they did know about it before, but they know about it now. But it's like this person, they they may see you going through something. This they know they know the source of it, but they're not saying anything. Look, three of pentacles and the page of swords. With the sun here. The three of wands and the high priestess, the death card. Wow. Yep. And there goes the knight of cups. So you have a knight of cups that's coming. It's like this person wants to make an offer. But it's being exposed that there was somebody teamed up against you. And what's coming in now is the truth about a high priestess who did some type of death magic or ritual or something like that on you. This person wants to rush in and make an offer to you. But it's like your spirit team is like, no. I'm, I don't feel like this person, it's impossible for them to, they just, they have to do it the right way. Let me just say this because I, there's so many different things that I'm seeing and I hate to be slow or hesitant in the reading. I really feel that for some of you, the truth is, is that you're going through hell about a situation and it's coming from someone that you're connected to because of someone that they are connected to this person it, either they knew about this before or they're finding out that they were dealing with a really really bad energy now i'll be completely honest the energy that i'm picking up on and this isn't everyone's story i don't feel like this person knew this before I feel like they're looking at certain situations that's happening with you or between the two of you and they're figuring out now, okay, that they have a person in their life, whether it's a friend, family member, or a lover, ex-lover, or whatever, that is actually orchestrating this conflict and chaos in the background. They don't want to tell you because they're like, if you were to really know what was going on, that it was, they know that you would leave them alone. What I'm also getting here intuitively as well is some of you, whatever type of attack you're experiencing from someone's friend, family member, or ex-lover, or whomever, for some of you, the other person knows about you. For some, they don't. But because they are, somebody here is like trying to hex the person that you're connected to, they're like, but but it's like this hex, it automatically is carrying over into your life. Because I can see what a person here is doing is they're trying to curse the love life of somebody that they walked away from or who walked away from them. And if you are now the new love interest, perhaps, or even if this person is trying to come back to you, someone from your past, this bad juju now is affecting you because you actually are in a contract with this person. You're free. You're a free agent. Like, you're free. 
But somebody is trying to create a lot of confusion and illusions for a divine feminine. I, I just said that. A divine feminine here is very fruitful, abundant. You're good on your own. The only thing that you're missing is a masculine for some of you. This masculine is being held back by some type of energy. It could be this Jezebel energy. Like I said, it could be a friend, family member, a lover, whomever. Somebody is holding this person back because they are aware that this person wants to come towards you. You right now are on the brink of walking away from this person. They want to come towards you, but you're. I feel like you're saying you've already invested enough. So it's a divine feminine here who is about to walk away or who has already walked away. And this person that you're in this contract with, this person, they don't want to tell you that the reason why certain things is happening is because of who they were connected to. It's, it's For some people, it's really not their fault. But again, they have to piss and get out the pot. They're either going to have to tell you the truth or do something about the situation or they're going to lose you for good. And they know that this person has a lot of anxiety right now. A lot. I mean, seriously, they're, they're like, here is the countdown and they know something is about to end. Eclipse season is here. Somebody knows that they are about to be eclipsed out. Spiritually, they're being eclipsed out. Physically, this person, they'll never be able to talk to you, touch you, or anything again. If they do not hurry up and fix this situation, it, it, it's over completely. They're watching you. King of Cups. This person is keeping their thoughts, their feelings, and emotions to themselves. Though, but they're, they're drowning in their emotions. Drowning. Two of Swords. Yep. Still make situation. If they don't make a decision, a decision will be made for them. And the decision will be that they will lose you. Indecision is a decision. Because if you're saying that you can't decide if you want to do the right thing by someone, you're saying that you don't want to do it. <laughs> so the universe is like, well, since you can't make a decision... This divine feminine is going to cut you out because you're being immature. Y'all, I... <laughs> it, it's, and it's, it's, it's a very nagging situation. Just like this gnat is in here. It's, it's nagging. It's getting on my nerves. Like, this situation is probably getting on somebody's nerves. What's coming in here, you have the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? What's coming in is um, news or communication here about a passionate new beginning. But let me say this. Oh, man. You got, you're being watched and monitored closely by somebody. See, if you look even at the cards here, it's like what's coming in is the high priestess here. Well, somebody, somebody here is waiting on some type of confirmation from a high priestess somebody wants to come towards you and have a passionate new beginning but there's a high priestess here so you know actually what i feel what is the problem here is this high priestess because here's the devil that's the problem thank you this high priestess here this devil energy is in the background creating burdens for a divine masculine and a divine feminine this person is rushing towards you to take action, though. They've made judgment that they that they want to be with you, but your your guards are up towards this person. They want to be with you and move on to peaceful, calmer waters. But yeah, the problem is there's a dark witch or high priestess here that is constantly coming in between this connection. And I feel like this person knows who this high priestess is. They may not know, but if there's a, a witch or somebody who has been hired to make sure that this connection doesn't come together. The Hermit, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. 
It's a time out here, a separation. There's going to be communication, equal give and take. There's a like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that, that is going to happen. Yeah, truth. Somebody's going to have to speak the truth. It looks like they like somebody's going to finally speak up or there's going to be some major breakthrough. Somebody's going to get some kind of mental clarity. I just get somebody's like every single time this happens, um three of swords and I I've noticed that I I said something about that recently in a reading, you know, in these different moon cycles and stuff like that. And it makes perfect sense to me just thinking about it right now. There's a hex or a curse that has been placed either directly onto you or a person that's connecting to you. It doesn't matter if the hex or curse was placed on you or that person. It's affecting both of you. There's a dark witch or high priest, a cult, coven or whatever that is behind keeping two people separated. Okay. They're 100% keeping these two people separated. For whatever reason they have, I feel like whoever these people are, they have to truly, there's for sure a highly spiritual connection between these two people. Definitely could actually be twin flames. Somebody is trying to, somebody is trying to force somebody to walk away from their twin flame connection. Now, I'm not talking about those of you who have, you know, the very, very toxic, low vibrational person that has hurt you or even harmed you over time. I'm talking about for some of you, you may not even know this person or you're not in a relationship with them. Somebody is creating confusion, illusions, conflict and chaos to keep you and somebody apart. They're constantly creating and, and the heart, the hermit now makes me think too. Somebody here is is spying on you and your connection. And they're trying to figure out how to keep a wedge between you and someone. You will receive justice here, but man, this this sucks. You need to be wow, four of wands. It's a true connection. It is a true divine connection here. There is no way you can deny this four of wands ten of pentacles four of swords somebody is keeping two people apart and they know that these two people are wish fulfillment for one another it's the truth ace of swords so somebody here who is wounded and upset this is a scorn lover this person is coming out in the readings every other day this person who is so upset about someone having new love they're in the background. Either they are doing some type of magic or something themselves or they're paying somebody to do it. Just 100%. If you are wondering why a situation with you or somebody is constantly experiencing like these ups and downs, it's because somebody is in the background doing this. And it could be multiple people. You are not crazy. You and somebody are supposed to come together. I don't know if it's if you and this person will be in a romantic relationship, but there is for sure some type of collaboration. If if anything, you and this person can for sure make some money together. But somebody is in the background and they're trying to stop it. It's like somebody knows that you and someone, if you come together, you're gonna have a windfall of abundance. A lot of security, stability, you will be together long term. You will forever be in this person's life. And somebody is like, no. They do not want you to have whatever this person already has or what they never had with this person. Somebody just knows that their time is up. Okay? But there's still is not a good ex there's a masculine here who needs to wake up and see what's actually going on here here she goes queen of wands <sighs> queen of wands and you have the king of wands and the knight of swords but look at the cards 
Queen of Wands could for sure be like a third party situation. It doesn't have to be. But the King of Wands is here in this, this energy of trying to rush to go towards this Four of Wands energy. And he's constantly being caught at the crossroads with the burdens. Why? Because I can't make because of magic. Magic and manipulation. Every single time this masculine is on their way to going towards this divine feminine, they are attacked with magic. But the thing about this situation, um, that kind of rubs me the wrong way is, and I mean, obviously the, the, the magic that's being done is strong and it's working. Somebody here is refusing to, it's like this masculine, I feel for, is just now waking up and realizing that there's a pattern in their life. I feel like it's a divine feminine that has told this person, do you notice that every time this or that happens or, you know, what somebody here is, is showing this masculine that there is something uh, being done ritualistically to keep them stuck. And I don't feel like this person listened before, but now they're starting to recognize like, okay, there has to be something going on. This could be someone who doesn't, believe in spell work or they don't think that it's true they could be very religious very conservative or something like that there's a divine feminine like i said in the nine of pentacles who's very woke very um awakened and aware and is telling this person the reason why you cannot match me is because of what's happened in your past the reason why you cannot come towards me is because of your friends your family your bros you know your ex-lover or whatever that's somebody is, is pointing out hey there's a blockage here and you this this mask and they cannot do anything with this feminine until they eliminate something here and they are 100 percent running out of time because the issue has been pinpointed there's like this jezebel spirit black widow that is holding this this masculine hostage spiritually controlling him physically she there's somebody here has like a a domination spell oh thank you here this distorted person has a domination spell over this masculine this this person is making this masculine act out of character and do all types of crazy stuff to sabotage their life because if they sabotage their life, then they it will stop this masculine from going towards the divine feminine. Whoever is doing this, they know what they're doing or they're paying somebody to do it. But it's like, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make them drink. There's a divine feminine out here that's like, well, if you don't stand up for yourself, then you won't have this union with me. Because if you weren't in a lower vibration, then this magic wouldn't keep working on you. I don't know if this masculine is still dealing with somebody or I don't know, or he's just refusing to see that there is a need for him to shield himself from this type of magic and manipulation from possibly someone from his past. It could be, like I said, a friend, family member, or lover. It, it could it could be one of his his friends of the same say so it could be anybody. Somebody does not want this masculine to go towards this feminine though because it's going to unlock all of their abundance. There's the, there's a masculine here who doesn't realize that they're being set up. It's a lot of people around them that wants to see them losing in life. And their their gateway to wish fulfillment and abundance is the divine feminine. But until they learn to love, honor, cherish, and respect Mother Earth, Divine Feminine, then they're going to stay where they are. And I see this Divine Feminine is like, and I'm not doing another thing to make you recognize who I am. Because this person, it's like, you keep getting stuck. Do you not see that there's somebody around you doing this? Yeah, I'm getting so tired of all this like really slow, stuck, stagnant energy. It's like eclipse season is here. Like I said, it's just like people need to just let it go. Like 
just let people and things and situations just let them go please this this is so draining it's like and this person they know who you are they know they want to be if this is your story like somebody knows that they want to be with you 100 percent. they want to do life with you grow old with you but i'm telling you this person has to defeat this Jezebel energy in their life. This is this 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 masculine is a people pleaser. Like they don't want to really put their foot down with somebody. Or what I'm hearing too is like this person, for some of you, this person, they don't have any contact with this individual. But maybe, you know, let me see. Yo, I don't know because what I'm seeing here, honestly. For some of you, you can't get out of this contract. This is 100% your person. But I'm just trying to figure out how is spirit going to have you to guide this person? It's something about this person where they, they lack spiritual awareness. For some of you, they're not connected to someone physically, but they have a soul tie with somebody. And there is something here that is deceitful. So, you know, I'll, I'll be honest for some of you, and it happens, especially in situations where if you are this person, you're not like in an exclusive relationship. It's like they have slept with somebody or they went back and dealt with somebody and they created a soul tie. This person does not want to let them go. This person is dealing with some, for sure, like a Jezebel Black Widow energy. This energy does not is not letting this person go. And they keep getting stuck with this energy. This person has has for sure put a lot of spell work on this masculine. So I don't know. You have the dragonfly. It says be light, be lighthearted. Things are coming to light. It's time for a change. It's time for somebody to heal. I don't think that the all masculines going through this, I don't think it's the end of the road for them. But yeah, look at here. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning. So somebody here is just stuck on a situation. Um, and they're needing to stop some kind of pattern here. Somebody, somebody here has been seduced by a person. It's a third party here. Uh, got it. Somebody here took a chance. They, they may have thought something was different with the person. Some of you too, this is something that's going to come up in the future. Mercury retrograde is coming up soon. Either somebody has already went back and dealt with somebody from their past or they will and they're going to get burned by this person really, really bad. Yep. Somebody isn't. Somebody here is wearing a mask. Yeah, look at that. Surprise invitation or meeting. Somebody is going to lure somebody in, seduce them and have them to come in, love bomb them. They're going to seduce this person form some type of soul, soul tie with them, put some roots on them, okay, and have them doing everything. And then here, the Grim Reaper. And, and karmic relationship. So there's the karmic here that's going to do everything to seduce a masculine and get them trapped so that they can never go towards a divine feminine. Either this has already happened or this is what someone is planning to do. Watching, looking, heartbroken. Yeah. Somebody is heartbroken and this person is is has already came up with a plot to make sure that this person can never move on or that's what they're planning to do. Somebody may seduce somebody and purposely like get pregnant by this person or or they're trying to make sure that this person is permanently bound to them and unable to move forward. I would say in this situation, um you and somebody, you for sure have a soul connection, but 
if this person is still stuck in being codependent and they don't know how to refuse, you know, I don't know. It, somebody here has, has been seduced. And if, if this has already happened, they're stuck. Because this Black Widow Jezebel, they are, they're making sure that like, the Grim Reaper, they, they're they they're doing everything to kill the connection between you and this person. So for some of you, this has already happened. Or like I said, for some, it's about to happen. Somebody here is feeling deeply hurt or sad. I, I really, for a lot of you, I don't know. You have to take this story... And apply it to to whatever time you feel is relevant for, relevant for you. Some of you, this has already happened. And if it has already happened where you walked away from somebody, the you know cords have been severed or whatever. It's like their person is still doing possibly magic on you because this person, despite you walking away, they're still interested in coming towards you. If this is happening in the future, if it so if this hasn't happened to you, you can try to pray or or God try to intuitively send this person a message or or you know try to ask God to really step in to protect this person if you feel like this is truly your person or you might as well prepare yourself. Somebody here is they're gonna get trapped. By Jezebel Black Widow. This this Jezebel is gonna seduce this person. And it looks like they're gonna be very they're successful at it. Cause somebody here is refusing to break this pattern of being codependent. Somebody here has abandonment issues and they keep going back dealing with the same person or they're dealing with somebody who is very codependent that just refuses to let them go and they just keep attacking this person trying to establish it's it's really giving like you're this person saving grace but i can sense the um the disappointment i'm hearing disappointment devastation the despair the tower is here Shh. I just feel I hear divine feminine dish. So like I'm just tired. Four of cups. Missed opportunity. Or somebody here better be very careful with this offer. It's a real dirty offer here. Six of wands. Page of wands. Judgment. Man. Somebody is really about to be tested. Oh my goodness. Judgment and then the King of Cups. I don't feel like all is not lost for everybody that's dealing with this situation. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. It's like somebody is going to wake up right at the the nick of time. Like they're, I'm hearing saved by the bell. So I don't know. Some of you, like, like I said, maybe you need to put a prayer in for this person. Because somebody is, is somebody is trying to weaken this person spiritually so that they can seduce them, attack them, attach something to them, and keep them from coming towards you. Or this has already happened to this person and they're really struggling right now. That's what I'm saying. If if you know this resonates with you, your person is struggling bad right now. Because honestly, when spiritual warfare, they may not be dealing with this person at all. In their mind, this is over. When people are under spell work and a, an attack, oftentimes they don't even realize it's happening. You guys probably realize that it's happening because of how this person is acting very like moody and erratic and all over the place. They're bringing you chaos and confusion and conflict. It's because of the spell work. They don't, whoever this is, they don't know how to, they don't know how to recognize when they're 
they're under an attack and they certainly don't know the remedies of how to get it off. And this is heavy, heavy, heavy magic on somebody. Again, it's like, again, you're like their saving grace. Five of cups. Crying over spilled milk. Again, it's either piss or get off the pot. I don't know. This person can either work on themselves and get away from this situation. And then for you, you have to make the, the decision. Do you want to help this person or not? It's just decision time for everybody. I'm getting that from both the feminine and the masculine here. It's decision time. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Wow. For some of you, this will work in your favor. Whoever this third party energy is, they're going to be knocked down. And this Two of Cups is going to still be standing. And it's between the Queen and King of Pentacles. So again, you and this person, like I said, you have a contract to build or create something together. This, whoever this is, they're not letting go of you. They're not. Too many cards came out. But you see the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody has this King of Swords, somebody who is usually very decisive, fair, just, and balanced. Somebody is creating instability for this person so that they come towards you in this very karmic, immature type of energy. They're only doing this because this person is coming towards you with an offer. So, like I said, this person is under a serious domination spell. You have this angry, bitter Jezebel here that's in the background. They're causing this person to act very deceitful towards the divine feminine. Only because they know that this masculine is working on a connection with you. Somebody here literally has like a karmic distorted feminine from hell. This is a real Jezebel with a like a black widow spirit. This person is watching and monitoring everything that you do. And I mean, this energy is so heavy. It comes out every day. Six of wands, six of swords. Victory, success, moving on to peaceful, calm waters. This is going to come to an end and there will still be a union or connection. And whoever this is in the background that's doing this work, this queen of pentacles here, this is going to end. This is this is like somebody's mother and or, or somebody here. This is an old school like high priest, witch or something. They're constantly plotting separation and break up spells. But I feel like this masculine is going to wake up because they're their saving grace. They're constantly being reminded of what you're supposed to build together. They know, they know this. They know. But it's just like if you've, if you've done research ever on like spiritual spouses. When there's a physical union between two people and there's a spiritual spouse, it's going to come between you and that person. The spiritual spouse could definitely be like this Jezebel energy. It's not until... The divine feminine and the divine masculine communicate and work together to get rid of this Jezebel. You, you, most of the time, I don't really think that you. I'm not gonna say that you can't get rid of it to um, separately, but there's great power in you and this person coming together to rid this energy. So it's like that's that's the that's the that's the problem here though. Somebody is refusing to say, hey, I have an ex who has a mother who does spell work. Or I have an ex that is still calling me, texting me, threatening me. Somebody here is not really speaking up about just how toxic somebody in their life or their past actually is. They're sweeping it under the rug because, like I said, they may not have contact with this person. But they know, um, I just heard how venomous this person is. So, um, this person could be a real narcissist. They could, um, 
They could have Scorpio heavily aspected in their chart. It's a black widow, you guys. I'm telling you, it's a Jezebel black widow spirit that is like clinched. It, it's this, this thing is out to kill anything that this masculine and feminine may have together. It's it, this person, they wake up and they go to bed every day. This is what they do. It has become their life obsession to rob, steal, kill, and destroy anything. This person is so upset with either, for some of you, this could be your situation. Whoever, some, there's a scorn lover here that they're, they're, they're determined to destroy a person's life. Because they they can't have this person anymore. Man. And for some of you, it's it's you and your person. You both could be going through the same thing. Somebody here is stalking you. They're spying on your social media. They could have your your some of your stuff hacked. Somebody here is very obsessive. Like they want to know every single move that you're making or this person is making towards you. I'm telling this this story comes out every single day. I I I get messages like this that I don't even post them. Some of you did, stalker. Some of you must have a platform, or maybe your social media is not private. Even if it is, this person is finding a way. Mercury retrograde. This person has some serious plans for Mercury retrograde. They plan to come back to seduce this person. Or you have someone in your life that plans to come back and get you stuck in some type of web. Sleep paralysis. Dark entities or demons hold your physical body down while you dream. Causing you to feel paranoid, living in fear. Somebody here has some real heavy spell work on. I feel like it's a masculine. This masculine is like in fear and they're acting really strange with people around them they're under a spiritual attack and they don't know solar plexus chakra jealous of the attention that you receive from others the person causing you negativity is an air sign um heavy libra gemini aquarius energy doesn't have to be i just heard this person could be on the cusp of one of those signs so somebody could um, be like an Aquarius on the cusp of Pisces. Hmm. Somebody could be on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. Or Libra and Taurus. Can't like Cancer and Gemini, maybe. A family member is hating on you. Neighborhood drama. You can have a family member that doesn't really like you. Neighborhood drama. You can have neighbors who don't like you. You can have a family member that doesn't like you because of the neighborhood that you live in. Okay, it's just a lot of jealousy and envy out here. I don't know. A person causing you negativity is a water sign. Some of you, you're getting this evil eye energy from a lot of different people. Um, you have out here water and air. So, like I said before, somebody here definitely could be have Libra and Scorpio heavily aspected in their chart or like Gemini and Cancer. Virgo, um, Gemini and Cancer will be water and air. Libra and Scorpio will be water and air. Aquarius, Pisces, water, air. Somebody here is on the cusp. Of these particular signs or they have water and air heavily aspected in their chart but of course it could be any sign 
but someone here with all of this air it makes sense because i feel like somebody like i said at the beginning throat chakra issue somebody here is really bad when it comes to communication or i'm getting somebody here who is very very anal about communication as well this is someone here who likes to control a lot of situations air signs is just like the page of swords too somebody here is he really heavy into um social media um watching stalking spying somebody here has a very obsessive type of energy to them definitely could be somebody also that um has scorpio heavily aspected in their chart scorpio is like the fbi of the zodiac and i heard early like venomous somebody here they're lethal and 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 they stay hidden but they watch and they they stalk and they spy on everything that's that black widow energy and and this person is in your life and they they constantly want to rob steal kill and destroy if this this could be a woman that's doing this to another woman there, there's a woman who is trying to make sure that you never have a husband or there is a man out here who has been married possibly or in a long-term relationship with somebody that is trying to take them out however it resonates there's a woman out here who embodies the energy of a jezebel and a black widow this person is trying to literally destroy a divine feminine and masculine this is a very very angry bitter person very angry and bitter and this person i'm telling you all they do is watch and stalk you and spy on you and your relationship this person they want to know everything about your relationship Look at this. I just cut this deck. Divine masculine. And what does this say? It literally says complica complicated, confusion, not seeing clearly. There's a woman that's doing spell work or sending spell work towards the divine masculine so that they cannot see something clearly. This is the reason why this divine masculine is acting very strange for some of you. Options. It says here decisions need to be made. Yeah. Somebody here can't see clearly how to make a decision because somebody is sending the evil out. Somebody is sending chaos, conflict, and confusion to them constantly or to this relationship. You have here false twin flame. Somebody feels like they are a person's counterpart and they're not. It's not a divine connection. And because this person has now found an actual divine partner, somebody here is doing everything to destroy this. <sighs> 